Whether you're a pro or just getting started with shooters, you should play with a crosshair that not only helps you keep track of your enemies, but makes the most sense to you. If you tried using the in-game designer, you know how annoying it is to change a setting and need to exit the settings to see what it did. Today I'm going to be going over the new best way to design your perfect crosshair and how you can import everything into Deadlock with just a few steps. At the end of the video, I'll also give a few examples of crosshairs that the top players use and my personal favorite as well. First, you'll need to go to deadlockcrosshair.com or use the link in the description of this video. Now you'll have every setting you need to customize your crosshair with a reference of the changes at the top of the screen. Feel free to mess around with the various settings and find the crosshair that's perfect for you. If you're struggling on where to start, there are presets at the bottom of the screen that can help as well. Once you've dialed in your crosshair, click the Copy Config button on screen. This will automatically add your crosshair settings to your computer's clipboard. Next, you'll need to open Deadlock and hit F7 on your keyboard to open the console commands. From there, paste the crosshair settings by hitting Ctrl and V at the same time on your keyboard, then finish by hitting Enter. Now your crosshair should be prepped and ready for your next game. Feel free to load into a sandbox to test it out first though. If you have any questions on the setup process or run into any trouble, leave a comment and I'd be happy to help. Now let's get into the crosshairs I see many pro players using. All of these crosshair codes will be included in the video description as well. First up is Vegas, who uses a neon blue crosshair with minimal width but increased height. This is an easy crosshair to spot given the map's color scheme, and for the most part, if you stick it on someone's head, you'll land a headshot. Next is Average Jonas, who uses the simplest crosshair possible in just a single dot. All you need for this one is to increase the dot opacity to 1 and turn down the color and border opacity to 0. This is great for more minimal players who want as little of their enemy obscured as possible. Now Shroud's preferred crosshair is similar to Vegas, but increases the height, width, and gap size. This is a more conventional style crosshair utilizing the great color scheme and allowing for enemies to be placed squarely in the center. Finally, I'll share my preferred crosshair, which is a square with no corners. When using an automatic firing hero, you'll be able to place an enemy's head into the box to land headshots. But when using any hero with a large bullet spread, all you need to do to confirm hits is make sure any part of them is in the box. Let me know in the comments what your favorite crosshair is, and get subscribed so you don't miss out on any new deadlock info. And I'll see you in the next one.